When you get a chance, right in front, hey, please. Thank you. Miss I like Miss Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> and ladies, one more time. As you want. <laughs> I was telling Diane that, you know, when we were, when uh, I was up in bed uh, at 3 a.m. to wait for the nominations to be announced, and I started to work on the David Bowie tribute. I'm going to do it at the Grammys, so, but I was, I was in the middle of working on it. Stop it. You just, shh. And I was on my laptop, you know, I was editing, working, uh, making this mix tape for uh, Lyle Rogers to submit to him my idea for the you know, beginning of the musical direction. And I got so distracted listening to David Bowie and I was like, you know, it was kind of the first time I started really letting myself cry and be affected by it. And then I looked up and it said, till it happens to you, the hunting ground on the TV. And I had the headphones on and Scary Monsters was playing. Then I and it was you. so cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's, and it was it's a magic cool. moment because, like, you know, I would never exist today without David Bowie. And for him to have been in my ears, you know, the moment that I saw that. And then I'm, like, calling Diane going, oh, my God, what just happened? I know. And she's yelling, we did it. And it was just... So, so thrilling, so exciting. I'm just honored to be here, really. And, to, you know, be recognized as a songwriter. It's cool. Redundancy, by the way. And Gaga, cheers you know that? Gaga, right here? Gaga, over here. Ladies. And that beautiful hair and that beautiful hair. Gaga, one more time. Gaga. Gaga. It's truly an honor. And it is extremely healing, actually. Uh, for it to be for a song that for both of us is part of who we are and uh, I feel kind of vindicate, vindicated for my own experience in a way because the song is us continuing to fight through our demons yeah. about and it. Yeah, that it's helping so many people heal, yes. it's creating this, it's become this anthem and for this whole movement and beyond that anthem it's, it's actually you know speaking to people that have gone through trauma whatever it is I guess what I mean yeah. to say is is the nomination is a fantastic and just a massive honor but it's mostly an honor because I feel that the Academy is really caring about us and a very important issue and an issue that is in need of being talked about now so that we can protect our future. One in four women are sexually assaulted every year in, on college campuses. Even, even, even outside of... I you mean, wouldn't believe how many of your friends, if you asked them really and truly had they ever been assaulted, so many of your friends, even many of your male friends will yeah. tell you. And you'll be surprised that it was when they were younger and it was someone they, someone they know or from family. Which is worse or, when it's someone they know. That's and not so. campus, uh, but, and that's what the film is about. Yeah. But we wanted with the song for it to be broader. And, yeah. you know, I really wanted this song to feel very triumphant. And, you know, Diane, yeah. Diane really was the brainchild of this song. And, you know, for me, she was because it, came from her heart and when she and I first started working on our version together of what it would be she allowed me to to change it and she's Diane Warren and she doesn't write with anyone really so for her to share that experience with me so that I could feel a part of everything I was everything I was singing and saying it was uh, something that made me feel not alone. She extended something to me and uh, it gave me all the strength in the world to, to do it. Class of 2015.